For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com. Alright, guys, let's do this uh, very easy problem that they show you these two forces acting in the hook and they want you to find the magnitude of the resultant force. So, this is very easy to find. All you gotta do is basically form uh, the triangles. You see, you have this 200 newton force right here and this 500 newton force right here. So, let me redraw them. You have this 200 right here and this 500 right here. This is more realistic because the 200 uh, is much smaller than the 500 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna redraw this 200 newton force we're gonna redraw it right here and then we're gonna draw the resultant force right there and as you can see we have a triangle sorry about the crooked line now we know that this angle right here with the X is 30 degrees and this angle right here is 40 degrees this means that this angle right here is also 30 degrees because we translated this force uh, onto here and we know this angle right here to be 20 degrees and this angle is obviously a right angle of 90 uh, degrees now the reason why we know that this is 20 degrees is because this whole angle right here is 70 so you know that this will be 20 and if this is 20 this is 20 as well so now that you know the these three angles, you add them together. 20 plus 90 plus 30. And this is 20 plus 30 would be 50. This is around 140 degrees. So basically, this is what you have. You have this triangle. And you know that this angle is 140. You know the magnitude of this side is 200 and you know the magnitude of this side is 500 whenever you have a triangle and that is not right of course whenever you have any other triangle and you know two sides and the angle between them and you want to find the third side you use the law of cosines now the law of cosines says that if you have a triangle Let's call this A, let's call this B, and let's call this C. Let's call this angle C, big C. Basically, what it's telling you is that if you wanted to find the side C square is equal to A square plus B square minus 2 times A times C times the cosine of the angle between them, which will be big C. So basically what you do is you plug in the values, A will be 500 square plus 200 square minus 2 times 500 times 200 times cosine of the angle between them which is 140 and all this is square rooted because as you can see the C square and that will give you the magnitude of the side that you're looking for. When you plug all these numbers into your calculator you're going to get that this is equal to 665.7 so remember you have a triangle you have two sides and the angle between them bam log cosines final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you